such an exciting video for me to the story that because my life is one and Dankaka and Manifest Yoga they are all important part of my life so why Dankaka and Manifest Yoga they are actually one they may be seemingly two different businesses but they are all part of me and everything I do everything we do we have the best intention we have love care we have creativity sparkling into everything big and small things so Dunkaka is a fashion brand based in Los Angeles and our goal is simple which is to create the most beautiful clothes that human ever seen on earth into the universe and on the other hand manifest yoga is a virtual mindfulness center with meditation videos with videos like this to help and provide resources and values for two folks for love for ourselves and purifying the mind by letting go the preconceived idea right and a few videos ago i made this one about how i joined dankaka because i believe and i know for a fact that i was guided and with manifest yoga as well that I'm, in my opinion, these journey are the best because you're not forcing it. You're not doing things as a stepping stone to get something that you thought you want. For example, you are where I am not doing something. Okay, let me just take this job so that I can make X amount of money so that I can buy a mansion, buy a boat, buy this that kind of car. And it's totally okay if. You're doing it, or you have done it, because I have done it myself too. However, as we going down more and more, so each day the path of self-realization, or this journey, wonderful, amazing journey called life, we realize that a lot of things that we thought we wanted, but actually we don't really want it. Is the society told us that is cool? It is. Maybe from our parents think that oh that is cool, so we thought we wanted it. And we got it, and we realized, okay, cool. After two weeks, all the hype, all the freshness passed. It is just a car. It is just a place you are living in. It is just another thing that you accumulate, that you thought you could seek yourself in it, but it turned out to be different, right? So I'm gonna put the link down in below,、um, so that you can check how I joined Dankaka. Maybe I did not mention this. Dan Kaka, he was at that time he was in New York. He started this brand essentially just at the very very beginning. He wanted to make cool, amazing clothes for himself. That is so fly. That is so special. That is a manifestation of his ideas, of his inspiration, right? And channeling them into a clothes or the modern day armor that me and everybody wear nowadays, right? He start making them, and you know, in New York, in Soho, you know, in Brooklyn, and everybody dressing very, very fly. And people will at that time they will come on and tell you, be like, "Hey, your style is super sick. Where did you get that clothes?" And he be getting all this kind of feedback, and then that's when it hit him that okay, cool, you know, I'm onto something here, and I shall explore more of my talents, right? And manifest yoga is the same. I have been on the path of self-realization ever since. If I really had to put it, 2017, or even way before. Ever since we were born, I believe we are on the path of self-realization. Because back in the days when I was growing up in China, I was living a totally different life compared to the life I have now in Madrid, compared to the life I had in Los Angeles and in the East Coast of America. So maybe. The path I really accelerated since I in 2017 I joined and participated that Unleash Power Within event in Los Angeles with Tony Robbins. That's when I truly started to cultivate meditation as a habit. I remember clearly that was March 2017, and I skipped one week of classes to go to West Coast to be at that event because. I was in university on the East Coast, and East Coast and West Coast, the spring break time is different. 
I wanted to cultivate that habit because I want to be understanding and be more friendly with my own mind or with my ego in a way. The ego is the identity that you have. You believe in this is who I am for this life. I think going down that path, and especially when it comes to this year, right, with the quarantine, with everything, just more and more so each day that people are reaching out to me or in a life or having conversation about meditation. They wanted to pick my brain about how I see one thing, and they want to know that how and why one event happened. My brain and their brain will interpret the same event totally different, and so it just came naturally, similar to the Dankaka jacket. It came naturally that more and more people wanted to do meditation with me. More and more people wanted to know how I think and how did I get here. That I started this YouTube channel just to share my insights, my journey, and I know and I trust because I made plenty of mistakes, and people can at least learn from these mistakes. Actually, coming from my heart, speaking from a personal experience, so that they can take away the mistakes, so that when their journey get to a certain point, they can think or reflect. Oh, Jazzy had made this mistake before. I heard about it. From Manifest Yoga or from his YouTube channel, so now I'm gonna make a conscious choice, right? And I have made plenty of mistakes from my life, from my business adventures, and that is my intention, right? Because I have lived in China, lived in Italy, living in Spain now, lived in America, lived in Australia, and I studied business degree. I studied. Psychology degree. Now I'm doing an MBA in fashion, with different cultures: Chinese culture, American culture, Australian culture, European culture, Italian culture, Spanish culture, and of course, live a little bit in Scandinavia too. However, the truth is all the same. Just like I have studied the Eastern philosophy, the Western philosophy, the Buddhism, the Hinduism, and in Christianity as well. It all just comes down to love for yourself and have the clarity of every day when you get off the bed. What are you coming close to today? And that's why we have Manifest Yoga to self launch on the 14th on this beautiful new moon and solar eclipse. I believe to set a momentum for 2021 because I know for a fact this year. It's going to be such a beautiful one for myself, for my team, for my business partners, and for every single one of you. Because by you listening to this video or audio now, whether it's on YouTube or on Spotify or other platform, that means that your consciousness is rising higher and higher. That you are, whether your mind or your heart, that part of you is seeking for something more. Than what we always have been doing, than what we always have been told to, right? And it starts by this video. It starts by today. It starts by the action that you take it from your heart, right? And coming back to the manifestation collection we are launching this week with Dunkaka, right? We love cars. <laughs> However, just keep in mind, you know, cars are just a tool to get you from point A to point B, right? Tony Robbins actually he said this. He said, "Car and money doesn't solve all your problems, but one thing is that you can at least arrive in your problem in style, which is, I love it. So in Los Angeles, yes, we do have a Rolls Royce, and keep in mind, Rolls Royce does not solve all the problems. Maybe it's, it could be helpful sometimes, but it is just." A example. It is one of the material objects that we literally manifested into our life, and we're just picking this as a channel to release our creativity, to channel this energy into this clothes, so that when people saw it online on the internet, whether on TikTok or on Instagram or on our website, and when they make the purchase, when they're wearing the jacket, they can feel. From our heart to their heart, this vibration, this possibility of that. Oh, if these guys can do it, or these people can do it, then I can do it too. Because it is fact that at least once in your life, that you, your heart truly desires something. Keep in mind, it's not your ego. It's not like, oh, I want to live in this 
five million dollar mansion or fifty million dollar mansion. Maybe your heart does desire that, but a lot of time that's ego, right? So keep in mind that at least once in your life, your heart truly desires something, and then your mind and the universe or God get onto your side, start conspiring with you to bring it forth into your life in the most harmonious way. And for me, my life is like this. Every single day is like this. As a journey of as life unfold, I'm doing the things I need to do with joy, with bliss, with my team, and having fun, and challenge each other, be there for each other, supporting each other to bring it forth what our heart desire in the most harmonious way. Look at Steve Jobs. He said exactly the same thing, just different ways. He said that if you look around you. In the world of everything you have, or everything in this world, they are designed and created by people who are not usually not that much, or not any smarter than me. It all came from my idea. Whether the headphones you're listening to now, or the computer, the phone, even the YouTube and Google, somebody had an idea. Somebody coded it. Okay, so manifest an idea. Being conceived, and then you truly believe in it, and then you can bring it forth. And especially for me, as a kid who was born and raised in Beijing, I would never thought that I would met Warren Buffett. I would never thought I would have met Ray Dalio. I would never have thought that I would meet Gary Vaynerchuk, Steve Wozniak, and most importantly, being on the team with Don Kaka and Manifest Yoga, and be with these people that I can call them my friends. Brother and sister from another mother and family, that we are. I want to meet these people and all these names I mentioned. They're just like a reflection of me. Okay, they're just here to teach us, to remind us something that our heart already knows. And I genuinely believe that all these experiences are my heart truly desire, and then being brought forth in the most harmonious way. Actually, I'm gonna. Make videos talking about how I met, you know, Ray Dalio, Warren Buffett, Gary Vaynerchuk, Steve Wozniak, and all these people. And yeah, so just something behind the scene about this collection. I'm gonna say it here.、Um, it has been a really beautiful journey of up and down, which is just like the path of self-realization, which is just the, like our life as well. Ups and downs when it comes to creating this manifestation collection. If I tell you there are no pain, that would be a lie. If I tell you that there are no laughter on the like on the process of creating this collection, that would be a lie too. 